Welcome back to our present to our presentation. So this presentation's about microplastics. So after you watch this presentation, you will understand why you have to care about microplastics, especially you when you wash your clothes. All right. So Let's go. All right. First of all, what are microplastics? They are plastic de debris found in the environment in a very wide range of sizes. The biggest one is five millimeters. It doesn't show in the slides, but the smallest one is actually get to the 1.6 nanometers. I'm sorry, micrometers. One micrometer is 1,000 times smaller than one millimeters. So you may not uh, be able to imagine it easily, but you cannot see that single plastic particles. They are from <clears throat> glitter from your cosmetics, microfiber from your laundry, of course, plastic bottles and contact lenses. Our statistics times. So this is fun fact, not, not, not fun fact. It, it says one third of the total global release to the world ocean is occupied by our laundry. Another statistic show, um, says like 79% is from our, um, our house and 21, only 21% 21 is from industry. We have impact. We are influential on this problem. Okay, Nori, we got that. We got what are, what the microplastics are, but we don't get how the little tiny, like the baby plastics can be problematic. How is it possible? Why matter to me? And why matter to you? It's because, but it accumulate and migrate through the food chain, it's called bioaccumulation or biomagnification, pardon my uh, accent, but what actually happened to the plastic material is they, they leach out to the wastewater or seaweed pathway. Remember, um, so this is another fun fact. So single clothes, wash may release 700,000 microplastic fibers that study, study find. <clears throat> it's very insane. So those plastic will be degraded, meaning uh, getting smaller by the process of microbial, chemical, and physical processes. So those microplastics will be colonized by microbes like bacteria and to, to eat the microbes, the small organisms like plankton will consume the microplastics. We hear a lot about so this these are plankton and those bright green specks inside their bodies are showing us what they're eating. It's not food. Those are tiny pieces of plastic. So this video shows how they, uh, the microplastics accumulate into the plankton's gut. And then the, 
the plankton will be eaten by the bigger fishes, their predator, and it finally reaches to our diet, our dinner. Microplastics can migrate a million, uh, not million, I'm sorry, a thousand and thousand miles by riding ocean currents, the massive movement of ocean water. The map shows, this map shows the five main uh, ocean currents in the world. So let's say if you uh, toss a plastic bottle into plastic bottle into uh, Garveston Sea, um, the beach, that that meaning that means it can it can migrate to the Europe coast by riding the Gulf Stream and Canary. This is actually insane. And this data is very interesting because this actually recorded movement of debris by a Japanese, Japanese scientist. So when the tsunami hit in 2011, Japanese scientists started to record the movement of the debris by uh, writing the tsunami re tsunami in the de reverse direction because a tsunami has to go back to the ocean once it hit because they they the water has to be balanced in terms of the sea level so actually here from japan to la coast it actually migrates about 6,000 miles. It's, it's ridiculous. So actually hurricane or storm is, are also uh, mediums for microplastics to migrate. Okay, so allowing those plastics uh, migrate for long distance, meaning more chance to, for us to be exposed to those risks. So they give free ride to harmful chemicals. So, so re remember, the microplastics are from runoff and wastewater. So basically before they get into the ocean, they enjoy the chemical bath, right? So PCBs, POPs, PAHs, DDT, HGH, um, you can Google what they are, but the point here is they are nasty, toxic chemicals. And actually detected as the chemicals on the microplastics by scientists. <clears throat> so those chemicals generally cannot migrate for a long distance, but riding on the microplastics, they can go everywhere, meaning more chance to be exposed for us. So, it can cause skin disease, internal organs malfunction, and cancer. And for a pregnant women, it can cause immature birth. That's insane. Imagine how it exists in your dinner plates or the dinner plates that you serve for your family. Solutions. <clears throat> Solutions are always recycle, 
all right? Because we are trying to be sustainable. So this is the uh, recycle system, and we want to keep all any plastic products inside of the cycle, not outside of the cycle, so that we we pre uh, we, we can reduce the microplastic runoff. That's why you want to use reusable products like reusable butter, uh, metal, straw, and etc. And that's why you want to use utilize, <clears throat> utilize recyclable products. That's why you want to know where the recycled boxes are. Now we have easy access to many, many recycled boxes on campus. So just check it out or attend our meet, future meeting. We're going to cover about the information as well. And you may consider carrying to carry an eco bag instead of using plastic bag. What I usually do is, yeah, <clears throat> putting an eco bag always inside of my backpack so that I don't forget when I go shopping. Uh, it's also important not to flush glitter, contact lenses, or other tiny plastic products into water, like sink, toilet, or something like that. So very, very important. So for you and let, let your friends know if they, they are usually flush their contact lenses into your toilet. Laundry. So you can wash clothes sustainably by stretching your clothes whenever you put into the washer machine. I did it and it only took five minutes. It depends on how much you wash at a time, but it's not that, uh, it's not a huge commitment. So just try it, you will like it. And also <clears throat> try, try and opt into natural fiber products like cotton, ethical, sustainable wools and tensiles. We can, uh, we're gonna save the YouTube video for now, but it says actually about the tensiles. It is very, very good and sustainable products <clears throat> and then use laundry ball on that. It actually capture 86% of fibers by just putting, putting it or just putting it, uh, the clothes into uh, the net or the ball into the washing machine. Uh, also, Earth Hero, Earth Hero, uh, you want to Google it today. This is actually very, very cool sustainable products platform. If you know already, good job. Good job. Okay. All right. So this is for all today. We appreciate your commitment. You are a great person. And don't forget, share your thought, uh, ideas, any comments on the pleasant pre presentations. It will really, really help the improvement. And we en enjoy your post on our group me about, hey, I know this, 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 and this for our sustainable laundry really appreciate it so if you want and if you can please share your story we appreciate it thank you bye bye